Hello everyone, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, you know, this is a, one of the uh, continuation series for my Army and Backup and Recovery scenarios. So, whereas in my uh, previous scenario, previous lecture, we have seen about the Army and Backup and what are the different types of backup and then what are the different format you can take. Everything we, we in detail, we understood about the backup. And also, we have demonstrated the two recovery scenarios. One is all the data file lost scenario then how you can restore your database and when you lose your control file and how you can restore your control file using auto backup so these are the two scenarios we have seen it in this today's scenario in this today's recovery scenario we are going to see we are going to practically demonstrate about the uh, you know when when few of the blocks in your data file got corrupted how you can restore it so uh, both the scenarios uh, when uh, this when all the data file lost and when the control file lost so all those scenarios uh, the in-depth videos are already uploaded in my youtube channel you can always go back to youtube and search for malik joe 34 and then uh, no, you can always uh, refer those uh, previous videos and if you are new to my channel always uh, no don't forget to subscribe malik joe 34 and if you like my videos please share like and comment Let's start with the today's scenario that is a few blocks in a data file got corrupted. So uh, I have a table called emp and uh, that is within my Scott schema. Uh, let me check it out that particular table select star from scott.emp. Scott is a, a schema and employee MP is a table. I have a 14 record in that. So if I if I found out the header of that particular uh, DBS segment, that segment assigned for that MP table, I'm going to find out what is the header for that uh, that particular segment. You can see select header from DBS segments where segment name is equal to MP. You can see 146 is the header. And then what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to check the owner and the table space name for that segment. This is the command. You can check it out. Owner is Scott and the table space belongs to user and uh, the header is 146 for this emp segment. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to check what is the data file associated with that user table space okay you can see here i have user table space i have user table space and this is a particular file data file associated with that so what i'm going to do i'm going to manually corrupt few of the blocks within this so the syntax or command is dd dd is the os command where you can uh, modify the physical file within your os so what i'm going to dd and this particular file and uh, this is a block size and uh, no truncate and this 147 so i'm going to corrupt that particular file few of the block i'm going to corrupt it you can see here dd and uof and corruption test and uof you can see one record in and one record out and uh, this is the modification i had done for this particular data file and if I can go back and if I can query same emp.scot and this time you know it will fail because the data file got corrupted. Select star from scot.emp. Okay, still it is not corrupted because of the buffer cache. As you see, I already queried my uh, previous result, the result in my buffer cache. So I need to flush that uh, data from the buffer cache. So after this block corruption, I'm going to add one more command alter system flush buffer underscore cache so that you know you you don't uh, find those the buffer cache result. So I'll go back now <clears throat> and then find the result right like uh, I flushed my buffer cache. Now I will try to run the same command select star from scott.emp this time you will see that block corruption error message because it has this time it has to read the data from the data file and the data file has some corruption block corruption right you can see right this time it is taking time so it means 
it is you know hitting the block corruption you can see a oracle data block corrupted and file number four and block is 147 and then this is the particular user dbf right so we have simulated my block corruption and then next what we can see try to take a backup with a validate input command like backup database archaeolog all with a validate input command so that will your rmn backup will tell you whether your backup is going to be any corruption or uh, you know that's a successful backup rmn target slash right backup validate database archaeolog all okay so using target control file instead of recovery catalog and these are my data files okay so everything is done so, so if i go back and check for particular uh, user data file undo data file user data file is here you can see here file is file number four status is failed and uh, this is the output data index and other right so other if you check for this undo tbs file number three status is okay so whereas with the user data file the status is failed right so our backup is not a valid backup so it has some block corruption so in that case what to do how to recover it so the other way to check the block corruption is at your database level select star from database underscore block underscore corruption so i'll go back i'll connect to sql plus you can see here file number 4 147 and block 1 one block corrupted and it is uncorrupted right so that concludes my data file has some corruption and that the file number is 4 the file number 4 is nothing but user data file and then if i try to check for m.scot again that same thing like uh, you know we'll get that block corruption we already checked this one let let me check one more time yeah you can see oracle data block corrupt so we have a utility called dbv so if you don't know about what is dbv you can check this particular uh, oracle document where uh, db verify offline database verification utility so that's offline database verification utility with that db verify you can verify your uh, data file all the online data file offline data file and your backup data files and backup sets everything you can do it and you know one of the brilliant feature is before you start with your uh, restore you can use this db verify and make sure your backup piece is a valid db verify is an external command line utility that performs the physical data structure integrity check of an offline database it can be used against the backup files and online files and also you can check it for all your data files whether it's uh, online or offline you can do it so this is one of the brilliant tool you can it has many th many information here you can go through it so what i'm going to do it with the dbv and the file name that is a user dbf and the block size i'm just uh, checking and making sure that is there any corruption in my uh, particular that data file so if i do dbv and it will give me the total page marked corrupt you can see here one page is marked for corrupt right it will give the summary what is whether it's a consistent and whether the how the structure looks and what is the content everything you can read it out what is the data and what is the index others everything it will say and then what is the corrupt marked pages everything it will it will give you here so that concludes my data file has again that also concludes my data file has some you know corruption and then you can check what is the file id already know we know that file id is 4 again you can verify with this command what is your uh, file id you can see here the user data file the file id is 4 and then you can use rmn recover data file right recover data file file number 4 block you can use this particular 147 so rmn has this one of the brilliant feature 
you can use record data file and just to mention only the block which got corrupted and our main has a capability to recover only that particular corrupted block instead of recovering your who huge data file or entire data file instead of recovering that entire data file you just recover only that particular block that is recovered data file file number four block 147 so for to recover your particular blocks you no need to bring your table space or your data file offline that, that can be done in online so i'm just going to run that particular command you can see recovered data file for block 147 you can see reading this particular piece and you know starting media recovery and you know applying all these archives right so media recovery completed so that particular whatever corrupted block has now you know fixed you can go back and check for the block corruption now at the database level you can see no more block corruption it is reported here and also you can verify by querying that particular employee table select star from squad.emp this time you won't find any block corruption error message you can see you are able to see the data so this is pretty straightforward the you know whenever your data file uh, block some blocks are got corrupted Armin has a capability to uh, recover those corrupted blocks you know without impacting your uh, running database so i hope this is pretty informative guys and uh, we'll start with the next scenario about uh, you know one data file is lost or corrupted uh, you know how you can restore that particular data file so we will demonstrate for the same user data file once it lost or corrupted how you can restore or how you can recover that particular uh, you know user data files uh, thank you guys